Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is going to be the last Valentine's Day look that I do. Um, this is more of a pinky, purple type look, mauve whatever you want to call it. Because I don't really like pink like that, so I barely do pink. And I didn't really want to do red. So this is the look that I came up with, and it is all drugstore products. I'm so proud of myself. I found some translucent powder. Oh so yeah, this um, tutorial is just lit. It's super lit. Stay tuned for next week's video, okay? Um, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please, please, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and thank you guys for 250 subscribers. I just looked the other day and I noticed it and I was so happy. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for that. And if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so jumping right into it, I'm just going to spray my Mario Badesco spray on my face. Then I'm going to um, start priming my eyelids. The reason I sprayed the um, spray on my face is because my face was kind of dry just after I just um, washed my face before I started my tutorial. So I just needed a hydration boost. It was a prime before the prime. <laughs> so now I'm just rubbing this all in. And I'm going to set it with, what do you know, some a drugstore translucent powder. This is the Airspun translucent powder. It's cool. I like it. It just really smells like baby powder. And I'm just like, why does it smell like this? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was so happy that I was able to find a, a powder that was drugstore. So now this is officially all drugstore tutorial. So moving right along, um, I did this technique in my last video, video and I loved it, so I'm doing it again. I'm just placing the tapes on the outer edges of my um, eye just so that I can get the look that I'm going for. So now I'm going to take my Morphe 350 palette, and this is still considered drugstore to me. Um, cause all of their products are really inexpensive. So I'm taking this transition shade. You guys have seen this shade plenty of times before, and I'm just warming up my eye with this. Um, this is going to be the color that everything blends into. So then I'm going to take this funky shade right here. I don't really know how to describe this color, but all I know is that this um, gives off a, a reddish brown tone to my eye. And I like the reddish brown tones. I like really warm tones a lot. So now I'm going to take this dark brown and I'm going to first place it on the outside of my um, lid, on the outer corner. I'm going to place it on the outside of the outer corner of my eye, and then I'm going to start blending that in. I'm going to do the same thing to both eyes. The reason that I'm placing the shadow on there first is so that I, I know how much I'm getting, and then I can blend it out and make sure I'm not putting too much on there, you know? So then I'm going to take this shade, um, Morphe Single Shadow. It's a black, um, matte black, and it's the shade Cold. I'm going to do the same thing, place it on the outside, and I'm working with a really small amount. So I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to blend that in, just because the brown wasn't dark enough for me, and then this came out perfect. Look at that. Look how well it's blending out. Um, Morphe shadows are inexpensive, and they're like the best shadows, other than my Anastasia. I love Anastasia. So then I'm going to take this Morphe shade. I cannot read what that said just now. Um... And I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush, and I'm just going to place this down. I'm going to have use a NYX Glitter Roller Ball, so this is just going to be the base. And this is kind of like a um, salmon pink shade, and the NYX Roller Ball that I use is salmon, so it was like the perfect base for that. So like I said, I'm going to be using a NYX Roller Ball, and this is in the shade Salmon. I'm just going to roll it right onto my eyelid. Um, I spend a lot of time going back and forth because I'll place it on my eyelid and then I'll take that flat synthetic brush and I'll move it around to exactly where I want it to be. And then I would um, blend out around my eye, whatever I lost with the glitter. And then I would have to go back because I didn't, the glitter wasn't as glittery as I wanted it. So it was a lot of back and forth. So now I'm going to take this super skinny, um, eyeliner pen from NYX and I'm just going to give myself a wing and I really love the tape because honestly you guys I'm not that I'm not really good at um, doing wing liners so the tape method really helps me out um, really helps get my wing 
perfect. Perfect for me. Not as perfect as some of these people. But you know, practice makes perfect. And one day I'm going to get to that level. But for right now, um, I'm going to continue using this tape. <laughs> but yeah, I found that it's really been giving my um, wing the perfect look. So I'm going to keep doing this. So for the lashes that I'm going to use today, these are the um, Vegas Nay brand Lux lashes. There's like a mink type of lashes. And these are like... Uh, I think I paid $8 for it. So, yeah. Then I'm going to take off the tape and get all the excess glitter that's um, that fell off with the tape. And then I'm going to take this Milani Prime Shield. I'm going to place this all over my face. And it is oil-free. It's like a silicone um, primer, which I love those types. And then I'm going to take the Shine Killer from NYX just to make sure that my face will stay matte. And I'm going to rub that all in, rub-a-dub-dub. You know the drill, honey. You know the drill. Then I am going to start with my foundation. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Matte. And I'm using um, the Rimmel Matte and Poreless Foundation. I mix these two because I didn't feel like the Rimmel was exactly my color. So... I'm like the queen of mixing. I can always mix something and I get the perfect shade. So I just decided to mix that with the um, Laura, Laura, I was going to say Laura Mercier, but with the L'Oreal 24-hour um, matte primer. And I feel like I got the perfect color. So once again, the blending god has conquered. <laughs> so I'm just rubbing that all in, you know, blend, 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 honey. Until I get the perfect coverage for me. And also, I have to blend out on my neck. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, you guys know this is one of my favorites, if you guys have been with me for a while. And I'm just going to simply place this on my under eye. And then I'm going to take the little LA Girl. I know I keep wanting to say Laura Mercier. But I'm going to take the look. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in the shade Mahogany, I believe, and I'm going to cream contour with that. I'm just going to place it where I need to cream contour at, and then after I blend out my under eyes, I will take the side of that Real Techniques Beauty Blender and make sure that it's all blended out perfectly the way that I would like it. See how good my wing looks? If you guys are not good with that, you might want to try this as well. So now I'm going to go back to the Airspun. Um, powder aka baby powder <laughs> and I'm just going to place it under my eyes I'm just going to set everywhere that I highlight it and then I'm just going to set under my contour as well and also anywhere on my face that is going to get oily you see all that fallout on my shirt it's okay <laughs> I just didn't care but yeah so far this look is coming out really really great I'm really loving it So now I'm going to take my NYX um, contour shade. I'm going to take the darkest shade on the in the palette. And I'm just going to place that over top of my cream contour just to set my cream. Because you guys have to set cream with a powder. I know I said that last video, but it's the truth. So I'm just blending out that, that out and making sure that I'm getting under my chin as well. Then I'm going to take my Black Radiance foundation powder and I'm going to blend out the um, translucent powder that I use with this. You guys know the drill. Just to make sure I don't get any flashback. Especially with this airspun because it's new to me. So I don't really know, you know, the effects of it, how it turns out. So it's important for me to um, do this step with new products as well. So now I'm going to start placing every single transition shade that I place under on top of my eye, on my under eye. Just to smoke this look out a little more. Then I'm going to take that dark brown shade that I used again and with a um, flat definer brush I'm going to put that on my under eye close to my eye line, close to my waterline. Then I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. I'm using the tweezers just so I don't mess up my concealer and foundation. I'm just going to place that in my waterline. Then I'm going to take this NYX um, 
mascara you guys I love this mascara so much it's called the skinny mascara and it gets every single lash hair and that's why I love it you see how small the bristles are but it works really really well then I'm going to take my Milani lash trifecta and I'm just going to go over top of that um, what I use with the skinny and then I'm going to um, put mascara on the top of my lashes as well Now I'm going to go back with that Salmon um, glitter shade and I'm going to place it on my inner corner as well just to make my eyes pop. Then I'm going to take my Morphe 9B blush palette and I'm going to mix a few of the shades and get the perfect color for me. Then I'm going to take my NYX um, highlighter. Can't tell you what the shade is right now but um, yeah I'm just going to use this and place it on my, the high points of my cheeks, my cupid's bow my nose and a little bit of my forehead then I'm going to really start highlighting my nose with a smaller brush um, on the point of my nose and then on the bridge of my nose as well then using that same brush and the same highlight I'm going to get the high points of my eyebrows just to make my eyes pop now I'm going to use this NYX um, I was going to say concealer this NYX lip liner in the shade chestnut it's okay, but what I like about the Kylie is that I don't have to press as hard as I have to press with the NYX. And that's why I love the Kylie Jenner, uh, Kylie Cosmetics True Brown K Lip Liner. That's one of the main reasons. Now I'm going to take this shade, uh, I believe this is the shade Creeper. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Creeper by ColourPop. And I'm going to place that and I'm going to mix it with my favorite Kapow. Just to get a shade that's close to what, what it looks like on my eyes. Or just something that looks good. And mix it together. Then I'm going to take my NYX Matte Finishing Spray and that is it. Yeah, yeah. 